Installing Lineage OS is done via the common recovery method. Quite a few ROMs use this technique, but none have such detailed installation instructions, which makes Lineage OS one of the best gateway ROMs to get you hooked. With that said, while I am using the OnePlus 7T Pro and Lineage 18.1, most devices should be the same or very similar to load, with the bootload unlock being OnePlus specific. Do flick through your device's instructions though to account for any funkiness. First off, ensure your PC has ADB and Fastboot, and double check you have a recent copy of the platform tools. Links will be in the description. Our first documentation check is now making sure you have the right Android version installed as your starting point. For my device installing Android 11, it wanted Android 11. Then ensure USB debugging and OEM unlock are enabled in the developer options. Download the appropriate files and drop them into your platform tools folder. You want the ROM, the recovery, the copy partitions file, and any extras you're after, like the relevant Google Apps file. These links will be spread over the installation guide. With that out of the way, our first step is to unlock the bootloader. If you're already unlocked, feel free to jump to the next chapter. A reminder that this will clear all your data. So be sure to have backups and don't wipe out anything you'll miss. Connect your device via USB, open your ADB folder, then type CMD into the folder path to launch the command window. Then type ADB reboot bootloader to reboot your device into fastboot. Then type fastboot devices to confirm the connection. It should return with the device ID. If you get an error, double check your ADB and fastboot setup. Then we type fastboot OEM unlock and complete the prompts on your phone. Once the restart has completed, the bootloader will be unlocked. As things have been wiped, quickly run through the initial setup, then enable USB debugging to continue. Back in the command window, we want to jump into fastboot again with ADB reboot bootloader. Next, we want to flash the recovery by typing fastboot flash recovery, then the full recovery file name. Then we boot into our new recovery by using the volume buttons to cycle through and the power button to proceed. Our next step is done just in case your device's inactive slot has any firmware issues. We select apply update, apply via ADB, and type ADB sideload, then the copy partitions file ending in .zip. Then reboot back into recovery, found in advanced. And then we perform a factory reset. Finally, we can install our ROM. We do this in the same fashion as before, selecting apply update, apply via ADB, and typing ADB sideload, then the name of the ROM ending in .zip. If your install doesn't make it all the way through, don't panic. Double check your instructions as it might list what to expect, like my success at 47%. Then, as before, we reboot back into recovery. Now, this is the stage where we flash our Google Apps. Note that this has to be done before the first boot, otherwise it'll cause issues. You might notice the theme to our method here. We select apply update, apply via ADB, and type ADB sideload, then your selected Google Apps file. You can also install any other add-ons at this stage, like Magisk. Once done, we can now reboot and launch our lovely Lineage ROM. Some issues I came across while bumbling around with this one. First of all, remember that Lineage OS does not come with any Google Apps, for better or for worse. So that step has to be done. If you do boot into Lineage without flashing it, you don't need to install the OS again or anything, but you will need to do a factory reset before flashing the Google Apps. You'll know it's worked as the first boot screen will look different if you have Google Apps installed or not. 
The other issue I ran into was a random reset on first boot, happening twice, where it gave an error saying it can't load the OS. Each time I just selected try again, which booted fine. And other than the initial times, I never saw the error again. As for performance of Lineage on my OnePlus, be sure to subscribe as that one will be coming soon. And feel free to chuck us a like on this one if you found it helpful. Otherwise, until next time, take it easy, stay casual.